A long time ago, people used to smoke meat, and they used to do it to preserve it, right? So that it wouldn't rot, so that it would keep on um, long voyages on ships or however people used to travel back then. And so what they would do is they'd cure it usually, you know, with some sort of salt or brine, and then they'd smoke it because smoke is an antioxidant, it's an antimicrobial. And this place we're going to right now, Calumet Fisheries on 95th Street, it has some of the best smoked fish you'll ever have in your life. Fun fact, it is on the 95th Street Bridge, which you may remember from the called classic comedy film, The Blues Brothers. And Dan Aykroyd's like, this is the new Blues Mobile, and then they jump over the bridge. Remember that part? The car's got a lot of pickup. That's the bridge, and it's right there. This is the smokehouse, is that right? Yeah, this is it. I heard there's only like one or two in the city that's that's a, that you, like you guys are allowed to, to yeah, burn wood and smoke fish, is that right? We've been actually grandfathered in since we've been doing this for so long. They just allow us to keep doing it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, and this place has been open since 1948? Eight, yeah, same 1948. owner since 1948, but it's been open since 1920. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So explain to me a little bit what we've got going on right here. So right now what I'm doing is uh, cooking the fish. It's going to take me about five hours to actually fully cook the entire fish that's in there. And then I need an additional hour to actually smoke it. And that's when I push the fire all the way to the back, put a lid on top, that way the fish doesn't get no more direct uh, fire, okay. which prevents it from overcooking. And then I close the doors. But there is uh, certain fish that will smoke uh, faster than other ones. Like white okay. fish takes only about maybe four hours, okay. versus with a salmon, it takes five hours. Okay. Because salmon's a pretty high fat content, yeah. right? So it takes a lot longer to cook. And they, you got the heads up there too. Do people like the, Do people eat those? Yeah, they do. Uh, a lot, what a lot of people like to do is uh, buy the heads to make a uh, gumbo soup. Oh, nice. And it looks like there's a rub or some herbs or something on there. Oh yeah, salmon. that's pepper. Oh, that's just black yeah, pepper? Yeah, that's black okay. pepper. I recommend holding it down the middle. Yeah. And then the other hand, just chopping it straight down. Eat. Eye on the ball. You're not allowed to put this in. Latif, so what were you saying? You come in and get 10 pounds of fish at a time? Yes, I do. <laughs> the one that I like most is the sprout. The pepper garlic one or the regular one? No, I get the regular one. The regular. So the pepper garlic one, I only do that when I just want to eat a little bit. Mm. But that is not easy for me to cook. It's going to be too much pepper because I have to add some pepper in my soup anyway. Okay. Should we eat some fish? Well, are you going to uh, eat now? Are you now, hungry now? now I, I, I'm sorry. I need to just pick up and go now. Oh, you got to go. Okay. Food. My wife is waiting in the car. Is she really? Yeah, she's right in the car, but she didn't know I'm a celebrity now. She, will have, she must be wondering. <laughs> Yeah. She must be wondering. No, no, what she's you're not going to be wondering. She will know it's Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> she will think I'm just. Uh, does your wife want to come? Him. Does your wife want to come in? Oh no, you don't want no, her to no, come. She's <laughs> just going to be very chat. Okay, okay. All right. Can I get a piece of the sturgeon and a piece of the trout, the garlic pepper? I'd like to try a chub. Okay. I would also like to try, of course, what was in the smokehouse, which is the salmon. Okay. So okay. could I have a little piece of that too? Sure. That'd be great. Thank you. I don't like the way that guy's looking at me. This one here? Well, that one seems a little angry. How about, you know what, that, that guy looks perfect. This one right here? Yes. Now I hear there's a special way to eat these chubs so I don't get fish bones in my throat. There is a special way. You, you have to be really careful. Sure. You basically want to get comfortable with him, so to speak. <laughs> I get comfortable with your chub. I get comfortable with the chub. So it has like a split right down the middle. Okay. So you want to push on that, but you want to push the meat up. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to try to do that on the other side. Okay? This one you have to flake down, but flake, be very flake this careful. this way? Right. Because you're at the rib cage now. Wow, it's like falling apart. Nice solid piece of meat. The texture is so smooth, and the smoke taste is really subtle. This is another question about the smoking. It does thoroughly cook the fish. Yeah, you still have a time limit on there. Yeah, about really how good. long? We don't necessarily put like a lot of salt in it, but you have a good solid 10 days or so. 10 days. That's beautiful. This looks so good. Hmm. The fishiness, the fishy taste that you might expect 
is like completely removed. The smokiness really infuses the meat. It's extremely flaky, extremely tender, but it kind of feels like you're eating thick, delicious steak, if that makes any sense. It's, it's so good. Pepper garlic, trout, got a little piece toward the end here. Look at that. So now I'm gonna break off a chunk of this trout. Mmm. So in the trout, it tastes like the brine is stronger. The flesh is saltier. It feels like the brine has more infused with flesh. So it's a saltier fish. It has a little bit more of a fishier flavor than the salmon does. That's offset by the heavier use of garlic in it as well. But I really like this a lot. The smoked sturgeon. This is the, uh, this is the Rolls Royce of, uh, of smoked fish. Now, interestingly, what Carlo said was that there's no bone in this that this is cartilage. I think can just be pulled out. I, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but it's kind of like a rib cage, and this is not what you want to eat. This is the no eat. I assume from there, I can just break myself off a piece of meat and eat it. Well, this is just like buttery. It's closer texture-wise, the flakiness of the salmon, than it is to the trout. But what it has that the salmon didn't have, this really creamy, buttery, melt in your mouth big fat bomb, but this is really good. I can see why this is expensive and why people like it a lot. Well, I have to say that was some of the best smoked fish I've ever had in my life. I might have to throw these clothes away from hanging out by the smoker with Javier for too long, but it was totally worth it. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime, and if you'd like to watch more, please click here to subscribe.